I What'd am you call a horse. Him? <laughs> You're what? Horse. <laughs> horse. Okay, I don't hang out with no horse. All my friends are wholesome queens. We work and we're just, you know, trying to get married. Oh, so y'all have jobs. <laughs> the job is to support the man on this earth. That's what my Lord and Savior, Kevin Samuels, may he rest in peace. He taught me that the man built this world. <laughs> you want some bullshit. <laughs> you want some bullshit. Yo, he built this world. It's my job to cook and clean, stay on my knees. <laughs> Whether it's seven figures deep or not, you know, it's a different experience. Let me stop before this shit is a thumbnail. Oh my, it's, it might be. It might be. It might be. Christiana, I said it right? Yes, Christiana. You gotta pour your own poison. Um, I don't even drink. It's okay. Take your time. Horse. Hoo, 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 hoo. Where they go? Horse. The horse. Bitty, bitty whore? Yes. All right. Um. What's poppin', y'all? Uh, Mr. J. Hill is here. We have a special guest, uh, Miss Christiana. Yes, Christiana. Christiana. I said it right. Um, oh, man. I know. Where do we start? Um, Being a wholesome queen. <laughs> wholesome queen millionaire. We ain't on that bullshit, man. Why are you such a hater? Because I have a healthy relationship. I'm helping people in the world, and I'm making millions of dollars doing it. I love that for me. I just am doing it without a man that makes less than 100 grand. Why do you think everybody was upset about that? Honestly, I feel like, you know, we're in a day and age where we're coming off a pandemic and there's a lot of poverty and a lot of people don't make even more than $40,000 a year. I'm blessed in, to be in a position to come from a family that does make well over six figures, but people are normalizing that below $100,000 mark. And people are also taking it out of my perspective of living in the state of Florida, which is one of the most expensive places to live. So $100,000, and I'm thinking long-term, you know, on the first date, okay, cool, $100,000 is cool, but we start dating two, three years in. Now we've got, you know, marriage, two kids, $100,000 is not enough to suffice for even a two-bedroom apartment. So when I made that comment, it was based off of a long-term fact of, I'm just not gonna waste your time on that first date, bro. I'm just not. You work nine to five all day. You want me to take, you want to take me out at nine o'clock after you've been working all day. I'm not gonna waste your time. Your whole days of work, we're just not gonna do it. There's no point. I've been sitting at home making TikToks all day. So point. <clears throat> that's, 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 that's really dope. <laughs> and I commend you for that. That you can make TikToks and get paid for it. I will never judge what you do. My thing is, you say, hundred. Six figures, $100,000 isn't enough and to support a family. I get that, right? On a first date, though, um, we don't know where we're going. And we're I f and dating I f to marry. Yeah, but I feel like you never know six months down the line what, where I might be at. Just don't want to waste your time. Man. It's just not your purpose. It's just, I just don't want your, um, when I was making $100,000, I was working. I was not trying to date. I was not trying to have fun. I was not doing anything else. I feel like that is your building. That's where you know it's possible to make money. That's your building, building point. Mm -hmm. So what is the point of me taking you out of your prime? Because when I started, when I made my first six figure month, it, it happened fast. I didn't go to a six figure year. I started making money online within about five months. I did six figures in 32 days something like that so that was my time of like wow like i made it so at that point there's no talking to me there's not a lot of you know building i'm just trying to build myself up so i just don't see the point of me wasting anybody's time where that's that's your time to focus on yourself we don't have no business going out for a 300 dollars date wasting your time my time getting to know what like there's just no so point. you're a millionaire right now yes like a million dollars in your bank yes let me see <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I, so I, so it's funny. I told myself, I be having people on these podcasts, and sometimes like people be like, you know, they be flexing and shit like that. And I be like, I'm going to pull somebody's card one day. I know. Isn't that crazy? You can so, pull my card after I pay the IRS. Okay. All right. <laughs> forget me. Forget your bank account. Let's donate to a, a charity right now. We can donate to March of Dimes. As you guys know, I lost my son at 18 weeks emergency mm. C-section. So you can pull my card. I donate $13,000 on the 13th of April every single year because it's the anniversary of my miscarriage. So that's fine. can't really pull my card there. All right. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not trying to pull your card, but that's for a positive thing. Mm -hmm. So can we talk about that? That's something that... um. So mm. 2018, um, I found out I was pregnant. The morning I found out, my doctor thought I was two weeks. I went to go get an ultrasound because it just... Something didn't feel right. You know, I, was, I had a flat stomach the day before... 
Woke up the next day looking like a beach ball. I thought I had a tumor, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I got an ultrasound. I was like 18 weeks, but he didn't have a heartbeat. So, you know, they send you home. They tell you, you know, pass him naturally. And I don't really want to call anybody or tell anybody, like, look, like, hey, I'm pregnant. Just kidding. Like, he's dead type dark humor. Just It just didn't feel right. It felt like a failure. I was blaming myself a lot of times. So I tried to take it upon myself and go get him taken out through a DNC, right, what's which that? is a medical term for abortion. Now, I'm... I'm pro-choice to a certain degree, but I'm against abortion if there's absolutely no reason that you should be aborting your child, especially that late. Like, at 18 <clears throat> weeks, I would have never, ever aborted my my son. He's a gender identifiable baby. There's no reason, though. I mean, because yeah. people have reasons. No, I no reason. The reason that I would feel like justifiable is a medical condition or rape or incest. I just don't think you should. You know when you're pregnant. Like, I, granted, I didn't know, but I just feel like you should know by 16 weeks max, like, give or take. Now, mine was a freak accident. I took pregnancy tests. They were negative. I went to the doctor. My doctor thought it was two weeks. So I was just one of those one in a million cases, which leads me to the fact that my DNC failed. Mm. So I ended up getting an emergency C-section. Dilator sticks were stuck in my uterus. I began to go into septic shock and was rushed to the hospital, which never happens. It's it's not even like when you tell people, they sit there like, what? You had a C-section that early. It's not it's not normal. Plus the simple fact that my C-section was done um, vertically internally. So it's just it's just not a thing. It's not it's a one in a million. It's just one of those things. So this is on my podcast. I love to like, um, you know give game and uh teach people right we like i told destiny and trishana we have fun but uh through that i love to like inform people i don't really know the questions to ask when it comes to that because i don't even know the first thing about a woman's body when it comes to being pregnant losing a child and things like that it's traumatizing um you know um right afterward i i went on to do like 500 grand in like two months because i you know tried to work through Put it the tried, money to the i side tried but let second. me tell you let me explain Go i'm gonna ahead. tell you where i backfired i tried to do that where it's like oh you know work through it be strong things like that and postpartum smacked the shit out of me in august it put me down for like a year and a half you know I was battling you know internal emotions I'm bad I'm picking up really bad habits I'm doing a lot of things that weren't like me to the point where I wasn't working I just was eating Uncrustables for six months so mm -hmm. so 18 weeks damn 18 weeks pregnant but you didn't know that you were 18 weeks you thought you mm -hmm. were what two three so the, i found Did out you? that morning i found out april 13th so i had negative pregnancy tests and i had a flat stomach i can show you photos what the hell? it's kind of scary so you can be flat that 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 far in some along? cases yeah damn that's... i worked out twice a day i mean i work out like all the time so unfortunately you know my body didn't i woke the morning i found out was the morning i woke up like so how often does fat. this happen in a in community in, in the woman community um, a lot of people can go weeks without knowing they're pregnant, not showing, things like that. People hide pregnancies all the time. My situation was just scary because I am a person that's on live, like crop tops. I'm wearing crop top right now. Like, you know, I'm a person that's always showing their stomach and nobody noticed. Nobody looked at me like, you look a little different. Nobody peeped. My face didn't look any different. There was, there was really no way to know. Do you do anything to like bring awareness to these type of uh these type of instances and situations? Unfortunately, I mean, what can we do? I had, I took the test. I went to the doctor. I did everything that everybody tells you to do. And there's no but just like know. losing a child in general, like you say, you donate, right? Yeah, just don't blame yourself and just, you know, be aware. This was the next day. Wait, this was the next day? Yeah. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. How was that even possible? I woke up like that. Damn. That's it's not crazy. believable once you look at the photos and you sit there. I even have videos like where I'm walking side, like side view. Because some people be like, oh, you're laying down or oh, you're facing forward. Even my side view didn't look like anything. So that's when you start to jump into work and you try to like cope that way. I tried to just push through it. I tried to ignore it and like just not think that it happened. It wasn't a big deal. But no. That when did it hit you? Um, Like August of 2018, I would say. So almost like five four or five months six months almost. how did it hit you like you just start thinking about it yeah you know like the ultrasound starts to haunt you. you you see that you grip it like for example like i haven't i have my original ultrasound at a safe at my house and like i will really like mm. fight over it like no i hope yeah. grip it because i haven't been pregnant since so you gotta think like i'm in a place where i'm gripping onto the only thing that reminds me that it happened you know, your body goes back to normal. I, ha I have a C-section scar, obviously. But, you know, like time goes on. You try to let go, move on. But you still want to at least 
know that it happened, know that you had a baby. So I hold on to the ultrasound. Damn. It's caused fights in, in relationships. I can honestly say that. How? They want me to throw it away. For real? Mm-hmm. That's kind of crazy. I feel like I'm holding on to the past or it's just like I care more about this this event in my life than the relationship and not being forward or moving forward. Explain that because I think I'm missing it. So how, why, in my mind, right, the first thing I'm thinking is I don't even see how that could cause a fight in a relationship. But you've said that they think that sometimes you hold on to the, in the past and then you care more about this than what you mm-hmm. have right now. What are some of the things that you're doing that can cause somebody to think something like Keeping that? Keeping it. It bothered. I'm trying, I can think it. of two people in the last five years that like felt some type of way about it existing. It's not like I have it like in my like you know it's in my phone or stuff, but it's not like it's the screensaver. It's not like in the beginning it used to be in the bathroom framed. It used to be worse. I've gotten better, but no, like some people are like you need to throw that away. Like my dad has told me to throw it away. I'm just not. It's normal. They want me to let it go. They don't want me to harbor negative feelings. I respect it, but at the same time. I'm holding on to it as a reminder that it existed, not necessarily like I can't get pregnant again. I've gone to therapy and things like that. I'm just, I just want to remember that it happened and that, you know, I've always told people once I get pregnant again, I have no problem letting it go and throwing it away if that, if that's what, you know, presents itself. But right now, no, I would like to remember that it happened, acknowledge it and understand it for what it is. Damn. So that's nothing that like you'd be scared to get pregnant again? There's nothing like oh, that. Oh no, I'm terrified. One hundred percent. I want to be, but I'm not gonna sit here like the day that that positive test comes up is gonna be like jumping for joy. I'm probably gonna be terrified. Because you gotta think the last time that I got told those words, I was in an ER seventy two hours later. Mm. So we hear these we <clears throat> we see these podcasts and a, and a lot of times we see the clickbait, right? Like the, <laughs> the, the clickbait of yours and um finesse. I watched it, it was really good. Shit, the one of me and Des and Trishana, it was actually good. And we all most of the times in the media, what we see is like this man versus woman, like right. It's always this this, this constant debate or this constant back and forth of man versus woman, and I don't want this to be that, right? I, I want to know. And I'm trying to ask, like, in the moment that that happens, right? You get pregnant and you with somebody that you really love. You have a boyfriend now. Congratulations. Hypothetically, you get pregnant and was I not supposed Hopefully. to say that? Was I not supposed to say that? I want to get pregnant. But everybody, you, you public with your relationship? Yeah. I'm oh, I was making. <laughs> no, I said it's public. Like, no, like, it's public. No, I, when you said pregnant, I'm like, I hope so. All right, so let's say in the instance you get pregnant, right? <laughs> yeah. Y'all live happily ever after. Or you get pregnant and you are hurt from it. How do you guys work that out? Because from a man's perspective, I can see like, you know, I would want to be there for you. But I feel like sometimes men don't know how to be there for women because we just aren't you guys. And we, we don't have the emotions so, you guys have. So my first pregnancy in 2018, um, I blocked my baby daddy and I resent him and I feel like he gave me a dead child. I needed somebody to blame. Yeah. I'm sure I know it hurts him. And, it, you know, if he ever sees this, you know, he knows that. Like, he know he's known me since high school. That's actually somebody who's had my back, like, five, ten years plus. Like, he understands me a little bit more emotionally, so he respects it. And I know he's always got my back, you know, if he see me out, whatever. But he knows, like, I just would never, ever, 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 ever deal with him on a relationship level again. No. Because had, of that? He had lost m- multiple kids. You know, was, I think that's what pushed me. Is like So you prior, blame him? He lost, like, he was telling me, like, all these girls and these miscarriages. Now, I don't know the, the truth or the whatever behind it, but I needed somebody to blame at the time. Like, I'm cool now, but, like, for the first two years, oh, no, I'm pissed. And I had a son. Like, no, I'm angry as hell. Like, I'm coping. He mm-hmm. just had to take that one to the chest. Like, now he knows, like, he could reach out. Like, he hits me up, like, the same day every year on some chill shit. But So you have forgiven him since Yeah, you? he sends okay. me $100 on Cash App. Every year on the same day, with a blue heart. Not weird. A hundred dollars. Every year, same April thirteenth. Every year, hundred dollars, cash app. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like, no, nah, just that got deep. I wasn't expecting that, but I just, <laughs> I just wanted to give time for that, and I didn't want to rush past that because I feel like so many women can learn from that, and I feel like so many women go through things like that that that's not exposed to the world you get what i'm saying it's, miscarriaging is actually pretty normal to at least have one mm. like at least one but you know mine was a freak accident and i know i'm full, nobody can convince me out otherwise it was too late in my pregnancy let me ask you this how do you think it made him feel i feel like when, when in these situations you know we hear a lot of times now being mature in the moment in the moment i didn't care mm. 
I almost died carrying our so because you know better now how, yeah how you... like now it's like you know like you know we both it was you know his opportunity to be a dad he still don't has has any does not have any kids I still don't have any kids let alone a son like of course you know I know I know for sure it haunts him mm. but in the moment no I don't care I almost died for our son you think I give a fuck about you no respectfully no I almost died no sheesh Damn. it's true nah, like I you over it. there crying i'm fighting for my life in septic shock i don't care like no where do you think that come from me? like just that that instant me that, that <laughs> instant feeling of not caring because i feel like in other cultures it's not like that it's only in our culture I i'm feel like. sorry and that moment that's just me being that typical like strong black woman mood because no i was traumatizing no like normalize that like that was traumatizing no mm. No, I can empathize and I understand, but I feel like if we could just understand each other, because it could be traumatizing for him as well. Yeah, and he and I have, wouldn't want my my woman to hate me for it. You have to wait a couple months till I calm down. That's just what it is. At least I'm mature enough that he and that you know, if you've been with me in a relationship, you know I do come down. It's just that moment. There's just no talking to me respectfully. There's just there's no there's nothing you could say, nothing you could buy, nothing you could do. Like there's I'm on ten. So, but I come down back down to a four. <laughs> All right, that's a great number. But so let's get back. Let's let's get back to the toxic conversation for a second. All right, you. It sounds like you. I, I listened to your um the, the show with you and finesse. It sounded like you 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 had struggles before. Like you can't. You ain't just all. You wasn't always up. Like you came through no. some shit. I walked to, through to get hell somewhere. barefoot. You went what? Walk through hell barefoot. Right. So you walk through hell barefoot. So you understand how it feels to not have nothing and to fight for something and finally get it. I'm going to go back to this conversation. I'm sorry. Go ahead. A guy that's making $100,000 a year. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. He's clearly on the right path to do something positive. And you tell me you wouldn't give him a chance. Not even a shot. Nobody Because he me. makes $100,000? No. He's working. Why am I? If you are driving, you want me to knock you off your road for a relationship? How is that? Not, so if, no. if you're a millionaire, right? Mm-hmm. You not think that you can motivate him? I just don't, I don't want to not respect him as a man and a leader. I'm just not doing it. He's working. Like, leave him. I, I respect people to get themselves together before they get into a relationship. I had to get myself together multiple times. And the people that tried to deal with me in that time, they were hurt. They're probably still watching this. Like, I loved this girl with everything in me, and she just would not love me back. I wasn't in a place to love you back. I'm working. I'm working on myself. Like, I feel like the man that's making $100,000 is working on himself. He has no business being with a girl making $30,000 a day sitting on TikTok all day. He's been working. He's stressed. He's got his mom. He may have children, whatever the case may be. While I'm sitting over here just twiddling my thumbs. Like, what did you do today, babe? I'm, I'm doing nothing. Let's go to Russia tomorrow because I want to. No, like... He's working. I respect his grind. I respect where he is in his life. I'd rather have somebody who's at the 300K and up mark because around 300K, I feel like you're starting to breathe a little bit better. You paid taxes at least twice. You got two years tax returns. You're starting to breathe. I could take 300K to an M all day. I take an M to three M's all day and three to 10. Cool. We're just in a way better place where we can focus on one another rather than like, I got to help my mom with rent. I got to pay my own rent. I, I want a new car. Well, you're starting to make money to a place where you want to upgrade your lifestyle. I don't know. There's so no just what I will say is from that, just having this conversation about money. Um, personally, I think um, <clears throat> I understand $100,000 $100, is not a lot. I, um, I remember at a time I thought it was a lot. And then, like you said, when you get it, you upgrade your life. But it... um. I haven't really had this conversation, but you know, like uh, it, it goes from that quickly to something else. And you see, even in those moments, even if you're making a three hundred thousand dollars, you still want a new car. You still but taking care of your mom. That's when you're doing it more. But you're not stressed. I don't feel like I'm but not a hundred thousand dollars. You can't. You ain't about to take care of your mom's get a new car. You ain't you're gonna to try with though. You're going to try. You're gonna really tell me, yo. I'm gonna tell you right now. When I made my first hundred grand, my first actual big deposit. Fuck all that. My first big At deposit. At one time. Yes. That's 20, different from 20, six figures in a year. Twenty-two thousand dollars. You know how much I gave my dad? Seventeen thousand. I did not care that that was all I made for the day. My first inclination was to give back and help the people that helped me. Like, no, like, it's just, it's natural. You're not going to sit here and tell me if you made $10,000 for the first time, you're really going to tell me you're not going to help your mom? You're really not going to tell me you're not going to do something for your child? You're going to do, you're going to try. 
when you make a hundred grand and you start feeling that money, you start thinking, okay, every day is going to be like this. Cause we've all thought every day is going to be a six figure day. We've all felt it. No, I'm helping the people I love. Ah, and that's why I just have to kindly disagree. Cause I feel like as a man, when I first started to see that the first, my first thought was I need more. Like literally, like I what? never, like my first thought was it was, it was a moment of gratification and I and I quickly realized that, damn. So you ain't help nobody. You ain't pay one car note, one credit card bill. So I help it. people, but but to an extent. And I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. It was it was to an extent because I understood that I really couldn't. Like like I, I can't make this up. See, I w how old were you? This is recently. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, but I was I was 21. So you know, but I it, now it, I I I'm thinking like that, but I'm okay. older. I'm 20. You know See, what I mean? I'm 27. In my situation, it jumped so fast, right? And I feel like. When I, well, again, when I seen that, it's like, yo, that's really not a lot of money at all. So I understand what you mean. But my, I think what, what confuses me is, you know, as a man, and I think, you know, as a man, I don't care about your money. You can make a million dollars. You can make $30,000. You get what I'm saying? As long as you're doing something to put yourself in a better place and, and position yourself forward and move forward, you know, I'm not, I don't really care about that. So it's kind of sad. It's like, damn, like that's that double standard. It's like, I wouldn't even count your pocket, but the fact that you count my pocket is like, why would I even want to be with you? If, if if my money, if my money matters to me dating you, why would I even want to be with you? I mean, it's a preference. Mm -hmm. I mean, fours and fives have their limits. Nines and tens have their limits. Thirty thousand dollars a year has their limits. Millionaires have their their mm -hmm. limits. I have a preference, and it's just my preference, like. So you 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 sound like Kevin 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 Samuels rest in yeah. peace. I love him. I'm just you know. Tell me that explain. <laughs> <laughs> so it's his platform. That's one thing I need everybody to understand. It's his his live his platform. I had not done any research on him prior to getting on that interview that day. I so what made you do it? Everybody kept spamming me. Kevin Samuels, get Kevin Samuels on here. Wait, I'm like, why, why though? Like, because so, they felt like Kevin was gonna just rip me to pieces, and he didn't. But why? why Before we get to the interview, I'm trying. What were you? My first time mm -hmm. seeing you was on finesse right something went viral so i'm assuming that this went viral were you used to the attention this type of attention before or was that your first time as well it was my first time dealing with negative attention i've always had a lot of positive kind of spamming or viralness with jubilee um and just some of the other things i've done but this was the first time people just were just so like just angry Hateful. yeah and i'm like I'm gonna give you all what you want. You think this man's gonna just be so crazy, whatever the case, or just be like he would tear? He did not tell me. To so pieces. it came after the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. That's I'm trying to understand. Like wait, people just kept okay. spamming Kevin, Kevin. I'm like, all right, I got y'all. I'm gonna like, I'm, I've never been pussy. Like, so how did never. that work? You had to log in to like you. No, how did that work? he went live. Somebody sent it to me because he his comment was, um, how much does submission cost? Where mm. do you think that came from? Okay, I wouldn't submit to a broke man. Mm -hmm. Now you got Kevin talking about submission. Cool. Click submit or request live. He brought me on after he kicked some woman off for having a baby and wanting to be married and having baggage. Cool. So mind you, I had not seen you in this cup. This smells like dick. I would assume you like that. Not sweaty. It smells like sweaty dick. I mean, some girls like that. No. Some I don't girls. No, I date a clean man. But I mean, sometimes, I mean, if he worked really hard, I'm pretty sure you see him coming. I mean, he unless he do, shower. unless he like do uh, TikToks all day too. But I'm no, just saying. No, unfortunately, I wish I, I wish he was a TikToker. Right. So you, you might see him come. That's not attractive. Like you see him come in a house after a hard day work. Come here. No, he got to take a shower first. Yeah. We're super clean though. Like super clean. So yo, you're the second person that came on my platform and said, we're going to get to Kevin Seven. You're the second person that came on my platform saying, you don't have se like sweaty sex. Like some, you got to, y'all got to shower before y'all have sex. That's the wackest shit ever. So you never, so you don't have car sex? <laughs> You're reaching. That's crazy. That's not reaching. That's because crazy. If you, I had people here that said, no, they have never did this because you have to take a shower before sex. So they've never had spontaneous sex. And I'm not sweaty when I get into the vehicle, the AC's on. I'm reaching. I mean, if I get into the car and hypothetically, I do have sex, I'm not getting in the car dirty. So if you had a long uh, day, you uh, why would I get where am I going dirt why did I have a long day and get in the car dirty if you go home right now like you're, you're not the cleanest nigga like what so I'm pretty sure your shit tastes like salt and vinegar chips too but whatever it tastes like whatever I just left her crib I'm clean oh I've been outside at the end of the day 
you come from an event. If my girl looking good, we in a car, come here. You can call it what you want. I mean, it is what it is. Whatever. So get back to it. Uh, you go to the live. You request a live. Mm -hmm. He bring you on. And, what, and let me guess, he didn't shit on you. What happened? What was the experience? So... You know, he started off like, you know, his he was he was sarcastic. I'm not going to say he wasn't like his typical self, but he didn't have much to stand on. The only thing that I really gave him was that I'm a modern day woman. I have a bit of an ego and I have a slick mouth. I have back talk. What's a modern day woman? Modern day woman is, you know, a woman that works, a woman that makes her own money. And, you know, she doesn't have to listen to anybody. The, his stereotypical, unmanageable, egotistical woman. So I wasn't going to, and then just angry. So I just wasn't going to give him that. Not that I'm like that in real life. I'm really just, I'm happy to be here. I make money, you know, I have a good, I have everything that I want. So I have no reason to be bitter or angry. So he started off just with the little jabs that didn't work. And then he started in on the questions, you know, how tall am I? How much do I weigh? Did I come from a two parent home? Am I college educated? Do I have any children? Have I ever been married? The his, all his check boxes. Well, unfortunately, I was the first girl now looking back and watching his previous interviews. I hit all his boxes that none of those women that get on there do. Most of the women that get on there have been married. They have children. They're overweight, shaped like linebackers. So, yes, he has something to dig at. But all he had was that I needed to learn how to listen better and shut up, which I already knew. He called me um, a wrecked McLaren for going to therapy. That's going to be a stupid, unpopular opinion. Nobody is going to co-sign me going to therapy as being like a wrecked car. Now, mm -hmm. if I had a kid, he would have had something to say about it. I don't have any kids. I, I, I'm everything that he said. I just, you know, and I said I would cook and clean. He said, would you give up your business for a marriage? Yes, I would do everything. Like, doesn't matter. And then he just started reaching. Like, um, you wouldn't have orgasms if, if you want a million dollar man. Cool. Yeah, well, he'll be overweight. Cool. Like, you're not going to get me to change what I want from my lifestyle based off of appearance, based off anything. I want my lifestyle for my children and my family. That's what I'm standing on. So then he turned into, well, I'd have to share him. Are you okay with sharing? Now, Obviously, I didn't want to get kicked off his live, so I'm not going to give him the no, I'm not going to share because that would have been the end of the show. I'm his longest live to date, 48 minutes. So but sure. you finessed it, though. Yeah, I got my 6,000 followers and made $16,000 in candle sales. So I made my money. And guess what? I logged off, got in bed with my man, called my happy family that, you know, loves me in real life and moved on. Like, while well, everybody sat there and got entertained by a show by a man that really didn't have much. Like, OK, I have an ego. We knew that. My man knows that. I have a bad mouth. Okay. He said I could get a man that makes 300K. I, I'm cool. I guess I'll have to take him from 300 to 3 million. But, you know, he found himself dancing because um, I said most millionaires do software and tech. And he said, no, they're in the medical field. So he was like, no, I'm going to pull it up on Google. I said, all right, pull it up on Google. Tech is really is lit and it's easy software to Software is the number one. And I was like, why can't we both be right? He's like, no, it doesn't work like that. I said, all right, bro, be a man. You got it. Tech is the easiest thing to get into. You get a uh, certification, apply. Software. People are jobs. becoming millionaires in that <clears throat> all day long. It's just a new age. I'm not going to. His ideals, I do agree with most of them, but they're just some of them are outdated. Like the ways that people make money. Like he kept telling me dentists and I don't know no dentist making 10 million plus a year. Like I Googled it and the dentist that did make on um, 35 million and a couple billionaire dentists, they made like the toothpaste. They made like mm. floss. They like one guy invented floss. It wasn't like I'm picturing yeah, a dentist average. cleaning teeth. I'm like, shit, if they had told me I wanted to be a dentist in high school, if they had told me I would have been a millionaire, I probably would have been a dentist. Hell, I'll go back to school. If you really are going to stand on that. But dentists aren't making that. People that do that went to dental school and created a way to for teeth to be cleaner efficiently or more efficient. Those are billionaires. So you said something that, that, that caught my attention. You said that um, you would have to share him. Is that something that you're willing to do? I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. So you rather be judged by people who want to So sit. what do you think is going to happen to my man if he decided to share? You want to kill him? Bro, I, I don't have a problem being judged by 12 people. I feel like I could beat a jury. <laughs> so you're going to kill him? That's allegedly. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you got in the state of Florida, stand your ground. I would hate to be in fear of my life. I would hate. How would you be in fear of your life if he just cheated on you? I was just my house. I'm, now is my house. If, even if it was yours, is now is mine. And I'm in fear of my life. And I'm in fear of her, too. Whatever side, bitch. I'm in fear of all y'all. I'm in fear. I was this scared. Is, this is crazy. And I keep a blinky on me, so it doesn't matter. I'm in fear of my life. You really want to cheat? All right, 
play with your life play with it i just like i just feel like i got a got, got a lot of money a great lawyer i'll take my chances you you never gonna cheat again you and your mama can bury you i don't care so you don't think you, you don't think what if it was a mistake <laughs> It was a mistake when I pulled the trigger. Oh, yeah. It was an accident. Was so like, you don't think cheating could be a mistake? Like I said, it would, it's going to be so sad. Like, nobody's going to even be at the funeral. And I'm going to get bond, so I'm going to come and cry. Like, Yo, you are crazy as shit. I know. It's, it's just, you know, you just got to take it with a grain of salt. But, you know, I to say all this on the first date. You know what you signed up for. At the end of the day, like, you know. Well, you I'm, say all this on the first date? What? I'm not going to I'm not gonna waste your time. You're not going to waste my time. You're not cheating on me. I'm not, I don't share none of that. I want you to be rich. I want to be rich. We're going to be a house on a hill. I want to climb volcanoes. I want to do stuff. Like, no. My man climbs volcanoes with me. He knew that off the first date. I wanted to climb a volcano. Yes, I got us stranded. Yes, we almost died. And I lost his phone. But, hey. I told him this is what I wanted to do. He agreed. Coming off the Kevin Samuel thing, <laughs> we see Kevin Samuel pass away. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuel. Um, a lot of women was uh, celebrating his the death. fours and fives. So that's how you feel? Only fours and fives are celebrating his death? Yes, because let's just be real. Like, if you're overweight with three kids by three different men, you're going to go get a millionaire man? Maybe. Okay. Be realistic. That's all he was saying is honestly. Okay. Be realistic. All right, let's get to this money. Um, this is what we're gonna do. You got candles, right? What's the name yes, of the candles? The fantasy candle. It smells fucking. Yes, amazing. that is our hot cocoa candle. You can get it at thefantasycandle.com. This is free promo. Use code J Hill for money off. You heard that. How did you get into this? Um Well, wait, hold up. How did you get to this money? All right, you started you were selling other people's stuff. You reached out to them on Facebook and things like that. Take me step by step. Well, this part, doing your research on this me. part is gonna be boring. I'm just let you know, let you try to get some money. So prepare to be bored. Um, I told you it's about game. It's about giving back. It's about giving people the other people opportunity to be in the same position that you in, you in, or if not better. Um. Uh. So check that. Um. What I was gonna say is, how did you get started? So. Like, you know what's crazy? It just draws back to that interview that you were talking about. Um, a lot of women want to build men. I was there. I was, I was there. I tried that. I moved out with a boy who said if I loved him, I'd put the lease in my name for $3,000 a month. He didn't pay that. Mm -hmm. No, I, I signed my death certificate. I signed up for domestic violence. I signed up for hell. Mm. Um, I had 30 days to figure out how to find the three grand. I was selling other people's products like you know. And then I began selling a fishing pole pen. And then I grew into makeup. The makeup went viral on Facebook. And that put me at the $89,000 in two weeks to $159,000. Let's pause. Mm -hmm. Let's not rush through this. Because I need right. people to know. Take it's somebody out there that needs some money somebody right Somebody out now. there living with a boy that's not helping them. Right. So, okay. <laughs> you said you tried the uh, the what pen? What was it? A fishing pole pen. I fishing made like five pen. to ten grand. What made you do that specifically? Um, His homeboy was selling it, honestly. He had like the guy had a homeboy that he had had over. He was smoking weed. And he left his laptop on. And I had seen it. And I saw the, the Shopify notifications. So, is this drop shipping? Mm-hmm. So this is drop shipping. What made you say, I want to go into drop shipping. This is lucrative. This can be lucrative. I saw that the direct deposit was the next day and I only had a few weeks to pay the rent. So okay. I saw that I could get the money fast and that it was, I was seeing the deposits going. I was seeing it like the ka -chings. So I was like, all right, built a little website, copied everything, and then took the little bit of money I did have and put it into Facebook ads targeting um, 45 and up old men that were interested into fishing. And I've never fished a day in my life. This is our, if, if you can picture a YouTube tutorial. Mm -hmm. I'm talking game. I'm telling you, I'm game. So this might be bore, boring for some people. Facebook, on the right-hand side, you're going to see Ads Manager. You're going to click it. You're going to click Create Campaign. I took a picture off of Google Images of an elderly man fishing with the boots and stuff like that in the water and said, get your, um, get your pocket fishing pole now today, 50% off with the Shopify link. People were clicking that link like crazy. Oh, I love this. So convenient. And they're buying that pen. I'm placing the orders on AliExpress by hand at this point with my debit card as the money's coming in. The fishing poles are getting shipped. They're angry because it's taking so long. Because remember, this is 2016. So they're angry. I'm getting custom complaints about shipping. So I was like, all right, made my rent money. I'm going to switch to something else. Started doing the makeup. The makeup made money way, way, way too fast. I wasn't prepared for it, like at all. So I'm getting 
tons and tons, like think literally $200,000 worth of customer complaints. I caught up by the end of October, but this is September, 2016. So it took me about a month, two months almost to catch up, get it through, same process, did the ads. And this doesn't really work anymore because AliExpress obviously slow shipping times. Two, Facebook now works on negative and positive feedback. So something like customer complaints will completely ruin your store. And three, you can't just sell trash products anymore. You have to really create a brand and a, some type of problem solving or some type of social authority for people to trust your website to purchase on it now in 2022. Let's fast forward, but not too much. <laughs> but we, I want to stay where we at, but I just want to fast forward from your thinking. And this is what I mean. Why is drop shipping something that's so lucrative and something that somebody should get into? Because you're just inserting yourself. Think of it as like a line and you're just inserting yourself in the middle and taking a little cut. Mm. And you think it works the same as it, not the same, but it's still beneficial now as it was in 2016. Two plus two is four, but so is six minus two. Mm. Same mm. thing, different way to do it. I like that. Why that? Um, so I, cause I did some research on this as well. Cause I, I figured that's what it was. I wasn't really sure. You have, um, other ways to do drop shipping. You can do Amazon, mm -hmm. right? But some people do Shopify and do their own website. Why would you do, why would you do your own website or Shopify over doing Amazon when I believe Amazon is easier? So Amazon is the host platform and Amazon is selling everyday products. I'm not I could build, you know, my own brand, but I'd have to get ungated. I'd have to spend a lot more money where Shopify allows me to have a website open in what couple hours I control the traffic. I control what it looks like. I have my I can tell people in the supermarket, hey, buy my candles. Hey, buy my children's clothes, buy whatever. I have brands that I can give to people on a business card, something to be proud of versus Amazon. You're in there for profit. You know what I'm saying? Like I list and sell on Amazon. I do seven figures on Amazon every single month mm. but the profit margin is like 15 percent. but i'm doing it hands-free i'm selling things like toilet paper ceiling fans shampoo trash bags things that you're gonna buy no matter what and i don't have to worry about finding customers because when you go to amazon you know what you're gonna type in the search bar don't you mm -hmm. is there ever a time you don't know what you're gonna type in probably not never like amazon, so i, I go never to search. <laughs> i don't have to worry about people not buying my product you're mm. going in there with the intent to buy that specific product i just have to make sure that what I'm selling is what you're typing. And you also got to get it to the front page and stuff like that, right? That's SEO and buy box. That's semantics. Talk to semantics. me. Semantics. Like SEO is just making sure your title description, making sure you have customer views, making sure your description has no grammatical errors, making sure you have high resolution pictures and things like that. Mm. Simple things that are just detailed at the end of the day. And that goes the same for eBay. That goes the same for Facebook Marketplace. They're all different platforms, but they all do the same thing. And you could sell you know, a dog collar on all five of those platforms and make five streams of income mm. without stretching yourself too thin. So you mean to tell me my pitch, if my picture is good, my caption is good, my well, my description is good, I can get to the the, the uh, with, front? With buy box and customer reviews. Buy box is something you get after three months. So you okay, can so it takes take some time. Mm -hmm. And then I would have to get customer reviews. What's the best way to do that? Should I sell it to my friends? No, you just emails go out automatically as the sales go out. Mm. So as people are buying... But how am I going to get sales if my shit is on page SEO. 10? SEO. You just got to rank it. Use SEO. Use product descriptions. Use keywords. Mm. What's the best keyword to use? If I'm selling... If I go to Google Trends and I type in dog and all the keywords pop up, those Damn, are the most... Go, this is what I'm talking about. So somebody would have mm. to go to Google Trends, type in... I know, and they can learn all of that at the number one e-commerce education platform, Wealthy College. Get that so... <laughs> what you just say? No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. I want. I need. I need some of that here. What you say? Go on. Um, the fantasy candle dot com. Dot com. Mr. J Hill, get how much? Money off. Get money off, Mr. J Hill. Right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that. But I need some game. You need to know here. how to sell online. I need. I need my people. I need whoever's <laughs> yeah. gonna watch this. I need. If you could give me. A part of your class, right? Here, so, don't give me, leave a gap. So like, shit, I need No, I'll that. give you the full lesson. We're going to move it from Amazon though because that's too difficult for the everyday wow. person. Y'all hear this? <laughs> this is shit, I'm, fuck a hundred, not dating a nigga for a hundred thousand dollars. Fuck that. This is what can change somebody. Like, this you can is really make a hundred thousand dollars with the, what I'm about to say. Let's that's go. the funny part that's, about it. Can, you, Everybody you sure you can, want no more? Because this is what this is, this is what my platform is about. I know what's funny and shit. This is what this shit is about. Drinking? I'm just saying, because I just want to celebrate that you're it's about to give somebody some game. It's 7.45 on a Wednesday. You're about to change somebody's life, though, mm. and I appreciate it. Water? I'm a wholesome queen. Oh, okay. Working to get engaged.
can, can we get her some water, please, if yes. you don't mind? Please. Working to get engaged. But, okay, so. Let's go. Everybody has a Facebook. Can you tell me how much it costs to get on Facebook? For me? Yeah, how much does it cost to log on to Facebook? Nothing. Oh, okay. How much does it cost to click Facebook Marketplace? Nothing. How much does it cost to click list product? Nothing. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to list a grill. How much is the average grill? Probably the, the regular one, maybe like $99, maybe. About $100. Mm -hmm. Cool. So where can I find a grill? <laughs> Walmart. Amazon. Okay, so let's say the grill. <laughs> let's say the grill is a hundred dollars on Walmart. Two day shipping, free, over thirty five dollars. I'm gonna list that grill on Facebook Marketplace. Do you know the number one state in the country that barbecues for Memorial Day? I'm ignorant. I'm gonna assume down south somewhere. I don't know. Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore. Oh, it shows. Okay. The South would never. Anyway. Oh, I love Baltimore. We do cookouts all the time. Florida would never. But we, anyway, I can, I can see the disrespect to the South. It's okay. It's okay. That's your, disrespectful to the South. It's okay. It's okay. Is your state blue? Probably. Can't relate. Because red is like Republicans, right? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Red is, red is we carry a gun. Yeah, we blue, right? Yeah, we okay. Yeah. Oh, you can't carry a gun? That sucks. I feel for you. Um, Whatever. <laughs> That's past. Drink your water. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for the water. Okay. So anyway, what's the, it's so Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I would have never <laughs> thought of that. So how did we figure that out? We go on Google Trends and we type in Memorial Day. You're going to see the number one state that celebrates Memorial Day with barbecue, specifically, is, for, is Pennsylvania. The number two state is Virginia when you go mm. into Google Trends. So we're going to sell this grill in Pennsylvania. Why? Because it is the most prominent people looking for grills for Memorial Day because we're in the month of May. It's May 11th. Cool. So we got, what, a week, two weeks to sell this? Cool. So we list the grill. We change the zip code, but we need to know what zip codes in Pennsylvania are actually looking to buy stuff online. So how do we find the most wealthy zip codes in that state? Google. Yeah. So we're going to Google wealthiest zip codes in the state of Pennsylvania. Top 10 come up. We're going to list that grill in those top 10 zip codes. We're going to use the pictures. We're going to go to Amazon.com. We're going to search our grill up. We're going to click on reviews and we're going to click on reviews with images because stock images look sketchy. I don't I don't know if you really have this grill because you're just using Google Images. So I go to product or review product reviews with images and I click customer re review pictures and I take the pictures and I use them from all. Amazon. Yes. For people that uploaded like this grill is the best. So I don't da -da 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 -da. I shouldn't buy it first. No, I'm poor. We got rent due tomorrow. This is for the people that are broke. If you can afford to buy it, but I was broke, so no. And everybody was like, oh, that's horrible. To some of us really have light bills due, and some of us really are, like, on the verge of eviction. So you have to do what you have to do to keep your lights on, and I respect that. Mm. So we're listing the product images, the product review images on Facebook Marketplace. We're going to list it for 20% above. So what's 20% of 100? Uh, 20 <laughs> okay, so we're selling it for $120 free shipping. We copy the description, and we put it in those 10 zip codes. So now we click list. People are like, hi, can I buy this? You're like, sure, cash app or whatever the case. And I'm all, I can only can ship it. My grandma has COVID. I'm not meeting you. Or like, I'm scared. Like, I can't link you. It's 2022. People are raping people. People are robbing. I'm not meeting you. Cool. So they're like, all right. They send you the money. You place the order on walmart.com. You do gift receipt so they don't see it was $100. It's going to be there in two days. You send them the tracking number the minute it ships. It'll ship within 12 hours. So you give them that tracking number. They write a review. Cool. So let's say I start this at 12 noon. How long do you, how long would it take you to make a post like that? 10 15 minutes, maybe? All right, 10, 15 minutes. There's 60 minutes in an hour. If I sell five grills at $20 profit in an hour, how much did I make? She's like $200. No, I made $100. I sold five grills. Mm. Made $20 yeah. each grill. So she I made $100. Have. So I sold five grills an hour from 12 to 5. Sheesh. I made $500 yeah, right. a day. I sold the grills only Monday through Friday. I only got time to do this 45 minutes, whatever the case may be, Monday through Friday. So I'm making 500 a day, five days a week. How much am I making? Damn, $500. No, $500 a day, five oh, days a week. $500. $500 a day, five days a week. That's How like much am I making? $1,800. $2,500. $2,500. $2,500. $2,500. Okay, so I'm making 500 a day, five days a week. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not times that by the four weeks in the month. Bro, come on, man. Give, let me, give me a fucking but break. I, no, because you got <laughs> you to gotta see it. You All right, so, see okay, it. come on. So, so $2,500. I failed math what? four times. I can't do math for shit. $2,500 what? Times four. Sheesh. I don't even know. I can't do math. It's like Help. it's like ninety five. Five thousand is that enough to pay your? Is that? That's not five. It's like ninety five. That's like ninety five hundred. We struggling. 
Okay. Wait, so, Hold wait. On. 25. 25 times 500 five? 500 times five. It's 2,500 times four. Oh, 25. It's 10 grand a month. Yeah, 10 grand. I bet. Yeah, it's 25 times five. It's $10,000 10. a month enough. <laughs> it's $10,000 a month enough to pay your rent or mortgage right now. Compared to the, vid- compared to the, uh, what the girl say? $10,000 is not enough a month, but yeah. But you ain't see that viral video? No, I didn't. Okay, but whatever. It's a joke. I keep my eyes on my own paper in my pocket. But, um, okay, $10,000 a month. Is that going to pay your rent or your mortgage? Yes. Is that going to pay a car note? Yes. Is that going to pay groceries? Yes. So what's stopping you from selling a grill for five to ten minutes, once an hour, I'm sweating. five you days a week? me with a map. I can't even get to that. I'm first. just being real. Like, That's at dope. what point, like, what risk, so, what risk are you taking? You never bought the grill. So tell me, what are the downsides of you selling that grill on Facebook? What are the downsides or the cons? What could go wrong? Uh, maybe wasting 20 minutes of my life. Maybe that's How the only much, thing I can think but of. But if you're working a nine to five, I man, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, mm. so this is something that you you've done and, and got. Yes, like I don't do. I really have had to pay my rent and not want to go home. Yes, I I had a safety net. I totally respect all the people that are like, oh well, you ha- you come for money. To, I had too much pride. That's that masculine energy that everybody wants to downfall. I did not want to go so wait, home. Give me some. Give me some some rebuttals, y'all. I need rebuttals. Uh. Because it's somebody out there has rebuttals. Okay. Um, let's say, because I've sold things on Facebook Market before. Mm-hmm. Um, people will always want to meet me. They, uh, I have COVID. Right. But I'm not about to cash app you anything before you send me That's something. That's fine. PayPal it or pay, Facebook pay. We have Facebook pay now. We have Stripe. We have so many ways to take payments that are insured and in escrow. Mm, okay. What's something else, y'all? Give me some else excuses. I need something. No, I don't do it. There's no other. I need excuses. No I got bills. Excuses. Okay. Um. I need. No, I need excuses because somebody's out there going to find some excuses. Okay. Um. The grill. Okay. That's it. How do I know what to? How do I know what what pro- product to sell when? Because you said a grill because it's made. I make so it when you sense. go to Amazon.com, what is on the left hand side? Two words in. What does it say? I have no idea. Search. Oh, that's crazy. Know. It says best sellers. Sheesh. So when you click on best sellers, what does that mean? I mean they've been selling it a lot. Oh, okay. Damn. Thank you. I appreciate this. Um, I hope hopefully you guys appreciate this. If you make, if you do this right, and you make tag me. What? Give me a number. If they make what? Don't okay. say nothing crazy. This is what I want you to do. People aren't gonna take it serious, so no. I always say three thousand dollars. No, cool. So cool. They are not gonna take it serious. They never you, You're a millionaire, right? Yeah. I don't want none of your money. We ain't going to... You donate already. Mm-hmm. Are you... Are you? I hope you're a man of your word. Yes. All right, so look. Let's do this. If somebody make a number... It don't have to be 3,000. 500. If they make 500, you got to give them 500. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll give you half of it. Fuck it. All right, fuck it. it better, I want a video testimony on them doing it. Shake my hand. I'm putting it on my... If, yeah, I'm gonna make some bread off that video. I got, I got, I got so, half of it. So deal. if somebody, if somebody on here, you know, full if you, video if you document listen, it. If you listen to this and you do it, you make five hundred dollars. That should be easy. You make five hundred dollars. We are gonna give you five hundred dollars. Let's see how lazy your viewers are. Mm. Like these men making a hundred grand. What a man making a hundred grand? First of all, he work can we not him. disrespect them before we get out of here? Because. Yo, you have to understand. I know you come from wealth and all oh, this, da da da. Congratulations, uh, six figures, bro. You gotta make six figures. Yo, to understand one it's not bedroom a lot. in Florida is three thousand dollars. Congratulations. Bro. What if we got two kids? Where I'm, are our kids I'm just sleeping? Saying, we're not gonna disrespect people that's making six figures because it's people. I'm not who's disrespecting fighting. them, but some of us, you know, we're thinking for that two parent, two kid home in the state of Florida. It's not enough money. And now, two people making a hundred grand, that's cool, but. I'm thinking, like, if you guys want to go Kevin Samuels, the man's income is the only one we're allowed to count. My income doesn't matter, according to y'all's Lord and Savior, Kevin. Well, no, nah, that's not my Lord and Savior, because <laughs> in today's age, I mean, we just got to be realistic. Like, it's not a lot of people that's making six figures or more. It's just not. We're not. That's, they're you not take, the you majority. Need, you need to take that up with Kevin. Kevin told me that plenty of men are making that money. Plenty they're of men are making it, but that don't, that, don't, that don't mean that is the majority of the world, and especially majority of millennials. Nah, Come on. No, it's great. You know, I know, but like at the end of the day, like you got to make more money. There's so many ways, and just there, 
one income is just too close to none and i just gave you an exact way to add ten thousand if you really sat there and did it ten thousand dollars profit that's off a twenty dollar sale per grill i'm not telling you to go sell one thing and make a thousand dollars i'm telling you to make twenty dollars per sale because mm. it's really about the volume and the consistency it's better to have that sale come in every single hour so you're making ten thousand dollars a month times 12 how much is that off the grills it's like 120 wow that's more than six figures ain't it <laughs> that's crazy hey you gonna leave me the hell alone first of I'm all i'm just saying that's what them, you're gonna them do grills is making a six-figure income and how long does it take you to list them grills like 15 minutes oh damn that's crazy that six-figure income just put a roof over our head that's dope i love it what do you how do you feel about because i seen one of these in your comments um i guess you're a fraud you get this from alibaba something yeah. like that I'm taking out the work. So why you why do you get a haircut? Why don't you cut your hair yourself? Because I don't know how to do it. One and two is convenience. But you could learn. Oh, it's, it's convenient. convenience. Okay. So if I spend hours upon hours searching Alibaba and AliExpress for vendors that are reputable, spending my money on samples, making sure the sample is good quality, making sure it's reputable, making sure the shipping time is actually what they're saying. So you don't have to search through 30 pages of a hair vendor to find one bundle of hair that's legitimate. Am I a scam or am I giving you convenience? Did I see a hole in the market and I provided you co with convenience to say, hey, all of these hair vendors are reputable. I have the samples right here. I can show you it. This is how long it takes to ship and this is how much it should cost you. Instead of you going to AliExpress and searching through page and page and buying sample after sample is trash. That's crazy. I did all of that work and now I'm selling the list back to you because you don't want to take the time to go to AliExpress. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just do it? Oh, that's right convenience christiana everybody yo listen i've never been more excited to give away money in my life i need my little 250 she's a millionaire i'm not but i've never been more excited to give away money somebody make this 500 dollars. <laughs> make me give my money away yeah they're gonna make six figures i appreciate that um what we didn't really talk about your candles. We talked you didn't about want to talk about my candles? Yeah, my let's talk about my your kids candles. clothes. Nothing. Um, let's talk about your kids clothes. Let's talk about it. I'm sorry. I just wanted to give you had a lot of game, and I respected that. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to come at you, you with just to a, give a free lesson. I didn't want to just come at you with just a why are you not dating men and all that. I, I wanted you to give somebody. I know. Not some purpose. I'm getting an engagement ring. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, you coming to my engagement party? Am I invited? Yeah, it's gonna be in Dubai. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, destination wedding, you know. Cheaper. No, it makes more than six figures, buddy. Ten thousand dollar a night hotel. You wanna see that? But I mean a des usually destination for weddings are cheaper. That's what I thought. I don't know where they having their weddings at. The wedding that I planned in my little fairy tale was expensive. Yeah, for you. I hope not for your guests. So if you wanna invite me. You just... gotta you gotta get a flight there. Let's talk about these candles. Um what like tell me about your candles. If I said Tell me about your candles. What would you say? So my candles are 100% vegan, 100% soy-based, cruelty-free, and paraben-free. They're luxury candles with a 50-hour burn time guarantee. Your Damn. Bath & Body Works candle burns 14 hours. Mm. My candle burns 50 hours. Doesn't smell as good as Bath & Body Works. Mm -hmm. Smells better. Smells sweet. What's your favorite, what's your favorite uh, flavor? My favorite scent, scent. Yeah, scent. Um, I, the one I made up, which is like this eucalyptus mint, because that's what more I'm into. What made you get into this? Like candles, you, you was making so much money doing this drop shipping. I know. Why would you want, why because would you I wanted, dare to do your own work and your own business? Why? I know, it's crazy. You know why? Because I wanted a product that runs out. So what happens when that candle is gone? What are you going to do? You can't do anything. Well, you going to try to buy it, rebuy You're it from gonna somebody You're going to buy else. it again. Mm. So now I have a product that, if you like my candle, if you like the quality, you like the smell of it, gonna buy it again well, so now i'll oh, go ahead so now before, because before it's a product that. it's a high ticket product because the cost on it is below ten dollars and i could sell it from anywhere from 20 to 50 dollars plus shipping because it's glass and it's by weight so i gotta have insured shipping so now i have a product that runs out that if you like my candle you're gonna buy it three more times and you're gonna keep buying my so now i don't have to look for new customers you're stuck with me i have you for life on a subscription mm. so now i have a passive six-figure income <laughs> from my candles <laughs> that's crazy you're gonna leave my regular folks alone bro there's nothing wrong with them they ju i'm just saying in this day and age unfortunately poverty and covid showed us that your job and everything can be taken away my dad was 
greatly affected by COVID. For and sure. everybody jokes and, oh, take care of mommy and daddy. Try taking care of mommy and daddy that mommy and daddy make six, seven figures. Mm, it's a lot sure. harder to carry them. <laughs> It's a lot hard. I carry I carried my family at the level that I was raised on. So That's a lot more difficult. I'm pro job because my job saved my life. I'm pro job too, but COVID just showed us that nothing is but, guaranteed. But COVID bro. showed me that six figures Damn. was easily attainable. So I get what you're saying. I just be in fear and I don't want a situation of an eviction For notice sure. and I don't want a situation that I can't feed myself. I'm with you. I have no problem with how anybody makes money i don't want anybody to go hungry or anybody to come home to that 24-hour notice so if selling a grill can prevent that do it mm -hmm. like that's the only thing like everybody was on this 100k thing with me but i don't care how my man makes money i don't and everybody is oh what if he's illegal you really gonna just be real with me if you meet your man on monday and he's in the streets or he's doing something you think you as a female he gonna just quit up and do whatever the hell you're gonna give him like oh but come you can choose not to be with him if he's doing and being in the streets but i'm saying you can't convince a man you can give him an exit plan i truly believe you can give a man an exit plan but you cannot get a man to just drop his way of life and come shack up with you he's not gonna do it as a man for sure so I respect how anybody makes money. I just believe that, you know, we have to have a secondary or a backup. We just have to have an exit plan because mm -hmm. too much stuff, indictments and jobs, it's just a lot going on, you know, like free the guys, like free scrap, like there's a lot going on. Like it's bad out here. Just like there's women that are getting robbed. Like everybody was on the up in arms about a gun comment when went, right that week, a girl from Florida got robbed at gunpoint. Just that week, a woman from Houston was falling from her car at 9 o'clock at night. Like, it's dangerous. You know what's crazy hmm. about you? You're not really saying anything negative. Like, you're not even saying nothing that's crazy. I feel like you're one of the cases like Kevin Samuels, right? I feel like <laughs> a lot of people like Kevin Samuels because he gave the men voices that didn't have a voice, right? The men that didn't want to speak up to women that was like, you know, happy wife, happy life, whatever. You got it. <laughs> I feel like he gave those type of men voices, right? And I feel like with you, when you say, I can't date a man that don't have a gun or anything like that, I feel like a lot of women think that. Because, let me give you a real life story. My girlfriend never said that. But she said that. <laughs> what do you she mean? She never said that, ever. But she was like, you need to go, like, get your, uh, your, your Georgia license so you can get your gun in, like, because you got family here, you just never know. It, but she said it, like, multiple times. So she never said, like, she wouldn't, because we was already together, but she definitely put pressure on me scary we never want a situation where your man at a gas station and god forbid i get yoked up but he what's he gonna do fight i mean it's 2022 you think these kids are fighting because nah, yeah. i'm not i'm just gonna be real you think if six girls run up on me i'm gonna fight them <laughs> all right <laughs> just be real like Yo, how to close the uh the kids clothes going great um super super you know it took four years because you know just battling myself but you know the greatness of that is I'm able to pour loss into love. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It gave me an opportunity because I called it just kidding kids. Cause it's going back to that dark humor. It was like, I'm pregnant. And I was like, just kidding. Mm -hmm. So I created just kidding kids based off of that dark humor. And it allows me to just pour that negativity and just, you know, that resentment sometimes that I, I do feel. Cause you know, I walk around with a three inch scar. Like there's no escaping that there's nothing i can do about that i have a three inch scar that reminds me constantly of that so it was just a way for me to focus on something else and be positive and get around kids you mm. know like i i like being around and i was a nanny before i started making money fun fact and i only nannied under the age of two guys we have a ex nanny mm -hmm. telling us that she won't date us if we don't if we make six figures this is crazy Tell i was also that. 18 okay. so if you're 18 making six figures you got something to stand on but um 27 i have real bills and i want a real baby so that's all everybody dope. with the dog jokes like yo how was um for how can i get the, your kid clothes before we... you can go to just kidding kids us.com and you can use code j hill for money off you heard that yo how um speaking of dark humor hmm. who's your favorite comedian this is random um do you I'm, like comedians no i don't really watch them i guess not really yeah. i never really met somebody who liked dark humor that's why i asked like i just have like i don't know like that's how my family is like dry dark humor like who makes give me your, your best jokes. dark humor joke i'm not a cool mom i'm a dead baby mom <laughs> <laughs> that was funny that shit was whack i'm sorry <laughs> why do you want to say that? 
that was that was dark humor. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's my dark humor. I can say it. So you're not a what? Say it again? I'm not a cool mom. I'm a dead baby mom. No, that's that's what you like, got your head, got your mouth. Yeah, that's why I was like, what? I can laugh. Nobody else can. My shit was whack. <laughs> shit wasn't funny. Whatever. I mean, you've never been pregnant. Christiana, uh, how can we follow you? How can we support you? You guys can find me at Christiana Hurt, or you can just check out Wealthy College Kid if you want to learn how to make your own income online selling grills. I teach it Monday through Friday for free. Mm, you're not selling like any uh fucking pamphlets and shit like that. What do they call it? Is a pamphlet gonna pay my bills? Nah, because people obviously see people selling the what the shit. What are they called, man? A co- like the online courses and I shit. I have like courses, that. but how you? I expect you to pay me. You don't even know me. Mm. I gotta at least show you how to sell the grill first. I don't know. I believe in building like some type of like trust and build like relationship rather than like buy my course. You don't even know me. Like, mm. do you have a wristband? No. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, and Christiana Hurt. Yeah, for that's now. Your, that's your real last name. Unfortunately, until my boyfriend changes it. Oh, because I mean that's I mean kind of dark humor, <laughs> like Hurt Christy. <laughs> I really want that engagement ring. He's gonna get it. Blame Kevin. You, you know what's it. crazy? I was not thinking about engagement until Kevin. Kevin really got me on this engagement ring thing. I'm not even gonna lie to I you. I mean, you ain't a little whore out here, so you are gonna get it exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I want the little pear one. Yeah, like I want like a like. Yes, I do. What? Kevin told me you know within the first uh six months. It's been three months and you want to no, it's been four months. Four months. No, I just want to know that like we're on the same page. He says it, but I just want to know like I just want to. I don't know. It's weird. I just like at like a year and a half. Where? Where would you want to get engaged? Petra. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't even. Jordan. In okay, Jordan. I'm gonna explain. Okay. <laughs> let me explain. Let me. Let me explain. Let me explain. So, what the fuck is that? so on our first date, um, I'm really fucking weird. I will admit that I'm really fucking weird. Cause I was like sitting there and I didn't really know what to talk about, so I just like sat on my phone and went on TikTok. And then yeah, I know I'm weird. I didn't know what to talk. Like he was talking and I was like, I don't know. I don't want to say what I do for a living, so I just was like, What was you feeling? I didn't, oh, what was I showing him? No, what was you feeling? You said you didn't want to say. I just felt was, weird because I really liked him, but I didn't want to be weird. So I was like, damn, like, I don't want to look like like a boss bitch. I want to look soft. Like, I don't know. I just, I didn't know what to do. So I was just like, damn, this is really awkward. I haven't felt this feeling in like a minute. Because mm. normally it's like, niggas just ask me for 45 minutes. Like, you're a business owner. Like, we could be a coward couple. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. We going to Chanel. Like, type shit. Like, because I don't, I don't be there. You know when you're somewhere, but you're not all the way there? This mm-hmm. moment, I was really there. Like, I was nervous. It sounded like you was on your phone. Yeah, because what else was I supposed to do? I was mad nervous, and he was all smiling. I'm like, what are you so smiley for? Like, I don't want to smile too hard, so I was just sitting there like, mm. it was awkward. So I got on TikTok, and I was looking at travel videos because that is something I'm really, really set on. I was like, yeah, like, I want to I wanna travel the world. I want to go see the world wonders. I was like, we could do it together. We could be together. We could do stuff. And he's he was, like, into it. He's like, all right, show me. I'm like, all right. I got to show him something, like, cool. I can't show him Dubai. I can't show him. I gotta show him something cool, show him I'm smart, social studies. So I was like, bet, Petra. I was like, do you know what Petra is? He's like, no, I was like, bet. It's in Jordan, you know what Jordan is? He's like, no, I was like, yes, all right. So I'm showing him, and cause you know, Jordan is like a world wonder. It's like where, you can go see where Jesus was born in this, the country of Jordan. It's like in a Jesus desert. Jesus was born in Jor- Jordan. Either born, I don't know. I'm not. I don't even know. I need to read. I if know. Jesus was born in Jordan, <laughs> not, no, it's Jerusalem. And Mike, Jerusalem. That's I'm about to say Michael Jordan it's, it's is the best basketball Do player ever. Me. That's a hell of a it's coincidence. Israel, 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 Israel. I don't know. It's something with Jesus though. They have like a place where Jesus, like it's like it's a Jerusalem. holy place. That's it's Jerusalem, but there's a place in Jordan. Like it's a place you can go see where like Jesus was. It's something, Jordan. I promise you. I had it all down for the date, but I do not remember. That's going to be my clickbait. People can be like, oh, yeah, she wouldn't date a nigga for, with $100,000, but she don't even know where Jesus was born. That's my clickbait. I'm just letting you know. Hey. <laughs> Yo. But no. Okay. So I was like, okay, we'll go see Petra. So I'm like showing him Petra. Have you seen Petra? I do you don't know even what know what Petra is. Oh, I don't right. even know what see? Jordan is. Like what really? the fuck? Yo, I nailed it, yo. Like he she must have go. What's a weird? What the weirdest place that no, like, you've like, never heard I of? Okay, obsessed. you want to go to Petra? What the fuck is no? Petra? Like yeah, I nigga. wanted to go pro- oh, preview oh, to to the date though. Like I wanted to go see. So you wanted to go there before? The- yes, previous. This is Petra. That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit crazy. She's seen it. I tell her all the time. Like <laughs> that shit crazy. On. What is Petra like? 
That shit crazy. Nah, that like some shit. That like that's why they shot the. Uh, like Petra is the ancient city. Like. And that's where you want to get engaged. Petra, yes. Okay, it's the ro- rose red city because of the color of the stone. It's rock cut architecture and it's a water conductor system. It's like holy. Like it's like. It's the thriving center of the capital in 400 BC. Like, we have to go. So I was showing him this, and he was, like, so into it. And I was like, all right, now I got to up it. So that was like, you want to climb a volcano with me? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, are you sure? He was like, yeah. I was like, bet. So then I pulled his card, and I got it stranded, and I complained the whole time, and I fell down. Mm. But it was okay. We, I did not die, but we definitely got stranded on the volcano. But now I know that we're going to be together because we climbed a volcano together for two days. Like, come on now. What is the craziest thing you've done for pussy? This man is climbing volcanoes. The Six craziest hours thing I've hike. done for pussy? Mm-hmm. So, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I would think, I like to think I was pretty cool. So, I didn't really do no crazy things. But my friend, he acted like he knew Spanish for an entire month for a girl to come see him. So, he was like, he met her on Instagram. He was doing a Google Translate thing. And he was talking to her in Spanish until, until she came. Yeah, See, so. my man, I didn't do anything. My yet. man hiked six hours in thirty degree weather with no phone up an entire mountain. That's not that crazy though. We stayed overnight. That's romantic. That's not tent. that crazy. It was not romantic. It was traumatizing. We were in a tent and a guard dog guarding us, and I got us stuck on the top of the volcano waiting for an you eruption. Good. You good? That's like, not that crazy. Two day hike. It's not that crazy. straight incline. It's not that crazy. All right, go hike the volcano. Acting like you know Spanish when you don't know Spanish for a random chick Felt to come like see you. Crazy. He crazy. risked his life. And I got us. Oh, and we got kicked out of Panama. Oh, she in love. She we like, got kicked out of life. Oh my God, yes. he risked his life but for me. You ever been on a broke date before? Oop. Like where they asked me to pay. People not gonna hear you. Have you ever been on a broke date before? Yeah. He asked me to pay, or I pay. I pay if I don't like him. Well, how long ago was this? Like I pay up for dates that I don't like the guy though. I do that. Like that's weird. Wait, what? Because I don't. I want you to know I don't fuck with you. So I'm gonna pay for us because you a bitch. I thought. Wait. I thought you would pay because you like somebody. No, I'm paying because I don't want to be here. I want to go home. I have no business here. I'm not going to waste your money. Let me just go. So you're going to pay? Cause yes, I'm going to pay. Yeah. So was this recently? No. like I mean, not re- not four months recently, but because you don't date guys that's dating, that's making like 100000 so Like a year ago. So this like 100000 thing is something new? No. I haven't dated a broke man since 2018. Okay. But you went on a broke date? No, he was rich. I just did not like him. He was weird. But we asked if you were going on a broke date. That's the broke date. So how do you know a man is, has money from rich life? I ask people. Exactly. No, I ask for reviews. So just, I, I ask him. I ask for the people that know him. No, I don't. You can't get to me if nobody knows you. That's one thing. No, I do not. Oh, you got. We got to have a mutual. The question was, how how do you know if somebody rich or not? Mutual. You get reviews from other people. Like, yo, he he got bread. Come on, take a shot with me before we out. We out. You want this shot? Did thing. you drink it? Finish no, yours. Bro. Come on. We about to be out. Christiana, J Hill. Money making conversations, yo. Get this five hundred dollars. We want to give it to you. Follow her at Christiana Hurt. See you in Jordan. Appreciate I leave you in guys. two weeks. It's a wrap. We out. <laughs>